Ben Lecter. Ben, do you ever do the thing, because I have a thing, but you're somewhere where people don't really know you or what you do, mm-hmm. and there's a piano around, and you're like, I don't oh. know, let me just see if I can play. I don't know, let me just see. And then all of a sudden you're like, and they're like, wow. I, I actively avoid, I can't, this, I don't know if this is part of the show or not. but it, This act- is part of the show, we're on the air right now. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. I actively avoid that. I, I it's like I would not perform unless it's like you're supposed to be performing right now. If it, even like at a party, if I was like at a party and someone's like, "Ben, will you play this song?" I'd be like, "Oh no, I'm good, man." But what if they don't know you're an artist and it's like there's just a piano and they're like, you just you never just like See, I don't I, know, I maybe just, I can figure I, something out. No, I just, I, I just I just let it be because then once I introduce that, it's like oh like secretly uh, I'm a spy and they're like what's it like being a spy I'd just rather be like let's just hang man and well, my we thing talk about is spy stuff. juggling people, people, <laughs> somebody have a have a ball and they're like I, I've been trying I'm like I don't know let me just give it a shot no 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 <laughs> let me just see what's and I'll, t- and I'll go behind my back and I, can I you to, juggle I don't know should we just try for the first <laughs> he's, time now he's yeah. acting yeah. Yeah. yes I worked can. maintenance on a golf course for a long time <laughs> I'm, tr- I'm trying to understand how those two things are connected <laughs> and so what I did was well, you would sit and wait for people to get off the green before yeah. I could go water it. Yeah. And I've trained myself to juggle golf balls. And it has come in quite handy. <laughs> it's, it's a good skill. Do you not feel like you're a performer anywhere but on the stage only? I think probably the performer like gene in me in normal life has decreased as my job has increased. So like I bet if I wasn't a musician, I would like as a job, I might seek that opportunity out more. But because I am that like cup is like full and like i want to tell jokes and have like people think i'm funny or whatever but i'm not looking to like change the atmosphere of a room and be like you guys want to watch my my thing like um so i I think if i wasn't a professional musician i'd probably be quicker to do that but because that's such a big part of my life when i'm not doing that i'd rather just like hang honestly if i could do something like juggle i I would do that a lot though yeah you should learn it's pretty cool i'm gonna be honest with you it's (laughs) way cool First song you ever learned on piano where you went, oh, that's, that's, I'm playing a song now. Well, I did it backwards. I actually, so I took piano lessons as a kid and then I quit like every child ever. And, um, I pl- started playing guitar first. That's like my primary instrument. But, um, I started playing piano because I had to. And then the songs I wrote on piano were better because I wasn't good at piano. Cause like guitar songs all sounded like super like guitar guy and those, for me at least, weren't very good. Um, I'm trying to think of the first song I learned on piano. I learned like the the Rugrats theme. <laughs> like, Can you still recall the Rugrats theme? Oh man, I don't know. Is it? Do you want me to try? I don't. I'd like for you to give give it a shot here. Let's. <laughs> is it, is he this, doing is that thing? Thing. this is the oh, thing. This is the thing. I knew he was gonna do this thing. Here we yeah. go. <laughs> I don't really don't know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good though. I probably have not played that in 20 years. What is happening in your brain then? Are you able to, in that little bit of time, recreate it, hear it, see it, and then go and try to find it? It's like, um, it's like, uh, maybe like a psalm tasting wine or like a chef tasting food where it's like, I think I remember those flavors, but the difference is like, like if I taste wine, I can't taste like whatever grapefruit rind or I'm just like, this is pretty good. But like if you train your mind enough and you're, you do it enough, then you like remember nuances where it's like, I don't have perfect pitch, but I have pretty good relative pitch. So like if I like play this, I could hear like if you gave me a tonic. I could like hear the rest of the chords. Like once I start playing, your brain is like, oh, like go to the four, five. Like, you know what those sound like. So you've like matched the sound with like the numbers can you hear uh i could get so i can get i could sing and like recognize where that is in my vocal range and then get pretty close if i'm like warmed up this is way complicated can you play chopsticks um i can't actually (laughs) i take it right back down it's getting a little too complicated for me is that right we got him folks yeah Yeah, that's pretty good that's pretty good uh ben rector is here I got to tell you, the most played album, record, whatever we're calling it, it has been yours. Oh, man. This, this whole year for me from the, the whole year. The new album's The Joy of Music, and it hasn't been out but about a month, yeah. right? Thank, about a month. Thank you for that. I'm my my like wife it. and I, I listened to it all the time when it came out, and I texted you, and I was like, this is like next level. And mostly I wouldn't have texted anything. I wouldn't have lied. <laughs> I just would have been like, 
uh, how's Tuesday? You know, it has been. <laughs> totally. But my wife now, anytime we play cards or anything, I mean, she is dialed in. Like her favorite song is Hanging Out. Oh. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, well, and you're like, you know, there was, I said no to some radio stations and <laughs> I did all this. I was this. worried about that line, by the way. And, you know, it's about you just hanging out with your family. Mm -hmm. And she's like, she plays it extra loud for me. <laughs> because that's our goal with me is sure. for me just to hang out. Right. And, and now, it's hard. It's, it's so hard. I feel like if you like are driven or want to do a good job of stuff, it's so hard to like shut that off and also like nourish your like real life. That's tough. So she blares it. It's almost like propaganda in my house at this point. <laughs> you have a song that's almost propaganda. I'm sorry about that. My favorite song is also one of the ones that you released earlier before the whole album mm -hmm. came out. And it's Steady Love, mm -hmm. which I believe because I do have a, a grasp of the entire album now, this feels like a mature album from you mm. because you're talking about things like having a family, a daughter, perspective mm -hmm. of, hey, it's not just about chasing these dreams. What the heck? There are new dreams that I now am discovering. Totally. And Steady Love was that song for me because it's not, I fell in love and I'm blinded by stars. Yeah. It's, I, this, is, this is the real thing. Right, and I think for me, what I realize is like, I think that there's a place for every kind of like sentiment in music, but it's funny because if I zoom out so much of like the music that is um, widely available now or like promoted a lot celebrates a really small portion of life. You know what I mean? And it's like, I love the weekend and like having fun with friends and like whatever. I love that stuff as much as anybody, but it's funny to me that like 98% of the songs are probably about like 3% of our life. And so on this record, I wasn't consciously like, I'm going to write about the other 97%. But that's just kind of like the place I was in. And so uh, I'm like super excited to get to get to like go like, I guess like be that guy or play that music because I'm not, I really am not great at the other stuff. I'm not great at being like, I'm so awesome. Look at me. I'm cool. Um, so yeah, like I, I, I'm, I'm glad you liked it, but I'm also just glad to get to go like play that kind of music because I my hope is people hear it and they're like oh my gosh like that's that's what life like actually is and there's it's weird there's like a huge gap in like pop or accessible music about that stuff you know it felt and I don't know that three years ago I would have felt that song sure yeah the way that I do now now that I am married and on a right. different path but it also felt relatable in the way of some good paper towels like totally. you have to have them. Totally. You have to, and it makes a difference. And nobody talks about it. Right. Exactly. That I think that that that's the thing. It just felt like uh, if it was like real estate or something. Like the corners on like fun times and living crazy life. It's like, dude, it's packed. We got high rises like a million stories high there. And I don't have anything to add because I'm not uniquely like suited for that. It's like I'm I'm bad at that stuff. But like if you go out a couple miles and it's like, what about paper towels? It's like, oh, buddy, like. Dirt is cheap. What do you want to build here? Yeah. So, like, that was super fun for me to get to. Be, I, my hope was that people would listen to it and be like, yes, like, nobody talks about that, but we all do it, you know? In the most complimentary way, that song to me was like a great, great purchase of paper towels. Honestly, dude, that's like the highest compliment I could be paid for that song. So, I really appreciate Put it. Put that in your next album. Done. Ben Rector <laughs> was told. Uh, by the way, go watch Ben. He's all over starting in May, which is next month. Uh, yep. Madison, Wisconsin, all our friends in Madison listening right now. He starts there. And the first show on a tour is always one of the most interesting because you're oh, going to see things you'll, that nobody else will see. Oh, yeah. Some will be excellent. And some, some won't be excellent. And some won't be, but that, it's I think it's the biggest experience show. I, yes. And uh, it's definitely a show that won't be recreated. It could be – that. that's kind of like the – it's I'm mean, Madison. I'm not saying you're a trial run, but like the first show is always like, is this did this does this work? Is there anything we need to change? I would want to go to the first show Hunt, I, more I than would, any other show. You know what? You could see uh, you could see a crash. You could see uh, <laughs> you could see a, a beautiful thing. I'm actually I, I shouldn't say this, but I've decided I wanted to do something different than I've ever done, and so I'm writing a song for every city or state that I'm playing in to play it at that place. And me saying it here is making myself do it. Is this so. a thing, though, where you just change out a word? No, I'm doing it for real. A completely different song. Yeah, because during the pandemic, I started just, like, for fun. I was writing stuff, and I was, like, kind of tired of writing, like, a love song or whatever. And I was like, what if I wrote a song for a place? And I wrote a couple of them, and I was like, oh, that was really fun. And so, like, I had maybe, like, two or three and I showed the guys at rehearsals one of them, and it was like this like musical like explosion. It was like so awesome, and I was like, oh man, 
I, I wanted to play that song, and I was like, we can't play a song for Utah everywhere mm. or Oklahoma. And I was like, what if I wrote a song for everywhere? And so yesterday and the day before, I've just been like trying to motor through. That's a lot of songs. I'm looking at all the shows. That's yeah, I know. It's, 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 it's 24. I got nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous I, for you now. I, I, but I've, 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 been, uh, I've been deep in it. I need six more. There's well, a couple of doubles. Like Texas got a couple cities. Follow me here. <laughs> okay. It's like, I'm going to give you a little concept here, right? Okay. It's like people say I'm growing, but... I'm adapting less with all you wonderful people here in Minneapolis. Oh, use that, use wow. that right there. We just went somewhere that's never been gone to before. Wow, is that one you have? You need, need. Written? I already have Minnesota. I'm sorry. Uh, well, I'm doing, uh, but I'm specific Minneapolis? to the town. This is the difference to me and you. Okay. I go the extra mile, I guess. <laughs> Dang. You know? Yeah, he, he'd have one for each Minneapolis city. is too many syllables, man. I think it's the same as Minnesota. It's just Apolis, tough. It was until I just rhymed. Yeah, it. Honestly, found a rhyme. To be fair. Game recognized game. That was great. That was really good. Uh, go to the show, uh, benrectormusic.com, if you want to get tickets. The album is wonderful. And is Joy going to be at the shows? We've talked to Joy's agent, and Joy's going to be at all the shows. He, he's going to play piano at some of the shows. Do you know who Joy is? Is that Joy? That's Joy right there. Yeah. Oh, on the yeah, Joy he's is on the a screen. Massive yeah. red. It's like a, like a Muppet creature. Mupp, and it's humongous. It is, I was wondering who that was. It's so big. Basically, uh, we're trying to figure out how to make something like that happen. Talked to a lot of mascot builders and ended up actually uh, Jim Henson's Creature Shop. Actually, put it. That's cool. It. Yeah. it was awesome. Really cool. So who plays Joy? No, well, no, no. Joy's 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 Joy. Joy. Yeah, don't. Y- he knows what's up. So that's I. I know it's. I know it's hard to believe. Basically, Henson Creature Shop helped me find him, but there's nobody inside it. It just like is Joy. It's okay. like it's like who is Big Bird? It's like Got it's it, Big guys. Bird. You know what I mean? Got it. Uh, our relationship's weird because I just stuck up for Joy. <laughs> Instinctually, you did. Yeah, like was ready to fight Eddie. Yeah, I was like, no, crazy. you will not insult Joy. <laughs> I, I saw that. I felt that. I was like, yes. And afterward, I was like, I went too hard. Like, I went. Relax, there's guys. There's no one in Joy. There's You're too aggressive. There. How dare you ask that question? Oh, no. Jeez, guys. Come uh, on. <laughs> I saw you with Charles Kelly from Lady A. Yes. What? What? It looked like he was singing, and you were. I don't know what was happening there. It's so basically, um, it was an event for Mercedes and somehow i don't know exactly how they were like do you both want to play and i was like yeah sure we we sang there's a golf tournament that we both played in earlier this year and part of the deal is like you play a couple songs and so this is too long a story we did a medley for huey lewis uh because he was there and we sang like power of love and something else so we had done that and then this event was like, hey, do you want to both play? And we were like, yeah, sure. And it ended up just actually being, we both played like two originals and then we realized people were like, let's party. And so we played like every cover we knew. Like it was like, I was digging so deep. I was like, yeah, like I kind of know that song, but it was actually super fun. You do Rugrats? I bet that, that place got crazy. <laughs> I was like, everybody, everybody. I know the Rugrats team kind of, except I don't at all. Uh, still playing a lot of golf? You know, I, it's been pretty intense tour prep the last like couple weeks. I think the last time I played was with you, so like that's that's the last that's the last golf there was. I, you tell me if this was needed, and we'll end on this note. Oh gosh, I said, hey Ben, we're going out. <laughs> we're gonna play golf tomorrow. Would you like to play with us? And if you don't want to play or you can't play, you're tied up. What do you what do you probably say? Uh, can't, can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, okay. I want. Can I defend my answer? I haven't, even, I haven't given yet. you a reason okay, to defend fine. anything yet. <laughs> okay, yeah. so far so good. Yeah, I want, right. I, I wanted to let you know that I want. I wasn't just like, nah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I said, hey, man, you would play golf tomorrow. Oh, this is going to kill the Oklahoma in me. This is really going to hurt. This is bad. And he's like, uh, hey, man, I would like to, but I, I'm at the Masters right now, oh. and what we're doing at the Masters is playing. I we're playing at the it Masters. A, it, it was a good And I a, said, just say no. <laughs> <He's>, I'll... <laughs> Just I'll, say you're busy. He said no and made you jealous at the same the whole time. So how many times did he say masters in one text? No. It felt like 20. I'm about to, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to But re, just to re- say it once, though. I, I was like, you can just say, hey, man, I'm out of town. But that's cool. This is it. This is it. There's I'm no the, need for a flex. This is the text exchange. Okay, go ahead. Just got a spot for 115 tomorrow. If you can play, I would like to. Golf emoji. Man, I'd love to, but I'm playing a thing at the Masters. Parentheses, humble brag, I know. Thanks for the invite, though. Your text. You can just say no instead of all the extra fluff. <laughs> That's funny. You don't have to say good. masters. You can just say <laughs> that no was and good. Then I know. say later. I, I, I wanted to communicate like, yeah, man, you're nice to invite me. And I'm not just like, sorry, I don't want to. I was like, I cannot leave this place. Anyways. You guys uh, check out Ben's album, his tour. He's playing in Nashville. <laughs> in all the cities he's in, we're basically in all these cities. So I'm just going to encourage you to go look and see. 
Is Oklahoma City, when you go to Oklahoma City, because you are from the I'm Tulsa, from Tulsa area, yeah. yep. it, does that feel like a home show for you? It does. I spent a lot of time in Oklahoma City, like in college recording. Um, and a, I mean, a bunch of my friends went to OU and OSU, which are kind of on opposite sides of Oklahoma City. So that, I'd say that's the closest thing to a hometown show outside of Nashville on this tour. And Nashville, June 25th. Yep. And uh, I will be there. You don't know that yet, oh, but I will be. Yeah, it's going to be a secret. Oh, I'm going to surprise you. And okay. then uh, I'll be surprised. Go to the show. Go see Ben. Ben, thank you. Excellent. Love it all. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks so much. All right, man. there Thanks he is. Ben Rector, everybody. Woo. This is a Bobby Bones show. Hey.